Gary Burrell and Dr. Min Kao grew up over 7,500 miles apart from one another, yet their paths eventually crossed, resulting in one of the most unique and compelling partnerships in modern business history. In 1937, Gary Burrell was born and raised in Wichita, Kansas, known as the air capital of the world. After high school, Burrell earned his bachelor's degree in electrical engineering at Wichita State University and would later go on to earn a master's degree at Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute in New York. In 1949, Dr. Min Kao was born in the small town of Zhushan in central Taiwan. Kao earned his Bachelor of Science degree in Electrical Engineering from National Taiwan University in Taipei before making his journey to the United States where he attended the University of Tennessee to study Electrical Engineering, earning a Master's degree in 1974 and a Ph.D. degree in 1977. He would go on to work as a Systems Analyst for Teledyne and later as an Algorithm Designer for Magnavox Advanced Products where he designed the Kalman filter algorithms for the Department of Defense's Phase II GPS equipment to be installed on a broad range of air, sea, and land vehicles. Meanwhile, Burrell returned to Kansas and joined King Radio Corporation, which was later acquired by Allied Signal. It was at King Radio in 1983 when Burrell recruited Cal to develop GPS technology for general aviation the two continued to advance their work in aviation as Cal led the development for the first GPS navigator to be certified by the FAA and Burrell developed the first successful NAVCOM for the general aviation market. In 1983, following the tragic downing of Korean Airlines Flight 007, President Ronald Reagan opened America's global positioning system for civilian use to prevent the needless loss of life caused by inaccuracies and limitations of legacy navigation systems. Burrell and Cow recognized the game-changing safety and operational advantages of GPS technology and felt a sense of desperation to bring these benefits to as many users as possible. In 1989, the two raised $4 million, including their savings, to start their own company. Settling in an office space in Lenexa, Kansas, the two men formed Garmin, a coupling of their first names, and set out to design their first product, the GPS-100, a navigation device designed for aviation, marine, and land applications. The product was groundbreaking for its time and was an immediate success attracting the attention of thousands, allowing the company to become profitable in the first year of production. Garmin's culture of innovation established by Burrell and Cow has resulted in many new product categories and technological advances in aviation, including the first GPS navigation device certified for instrument approaches, the first integrated GPS NAVCOM receiver for aviation, the first fully integrated cockpit system for general aviation, and the first FAA-certified autonomous landing system for general aviation that can prevent tragic accidents caused by pilot incapacitation. These firsts, along with many others outside of aviation, have established an enduring legacy of enriching lives by creating products that are loved by and essential to millions of people around the world. Tonight, we welcome GPS navigation pioneers Gary Burrell and Dr. Min Kao into the National Aviation Hall of Fame.